Hey guys, in this video we're going to be discussing how to take lead acid and charge your lithium. But you can also reverse this. So if I had a hot lithium battery and a low lead acid battery, swap, swap, you'll see. Hello, Miss Kara. Hi. What do you got going? I'm getting the buck boost put on. All right, she's putting her buck boost charger. Nice. And I got my special wrench. Oh, look at her wrench. Show that to everybody. That's the cure it, killer, killer torque wrench. All I had to do was look at it with the death stare. She gave it to death stairs. Why is it shaped like that? So that Kira can't... Touch the two terminals. Touch the two terminals again? So you can't do it again? Yeah. Oh, wow. That, that was that was an arc, wasn't it? Um, all right, guys, we're going to be right back and show you this, and I'm gonna, I'll grab some more. I've got a pile of these. I'm going to grab them out. This is a good time. You did a good thing. Um, real quick, this is what you guys, along with Dad selling a little silver car, got for Kira. It is a electric bike, correct? Yep. That's and gonna it's going to take her places. But she wanted this for a little local stuff and y'all stay tuned um donate if you can i'll run the little intro thing and it's for her right All right, as you've seen there, Kira made that. Kira made that intro, you see, for, I don't know, donating. Um, it does her some good. It really works out nice. All right, this is the original charger that we used on lithium. It's adjustable. I'll put a video link. Look at the very end of the video. I'll see if I can put that. It's a lithium battery collection videos, but it'll have this in it. And it's worked amazingly well for the price. So, I mean, for about 60 bucks, you could get this, and it's not 35. It says 45, but I, I mark 35 for my own personal limit. Um, what she's hooking up over here, as you see in the beginning of the video, is a buck boost charger. Now, these are, did you go get them? Okay, so she got a pile of them. All right. These are buck boost or buck down boost up. This one here is adjustable. You see that right there? Very hard to find this one now. But it has that screw right there that's adjustable. And they're all current limiting. So if you're wondering now, can I hook up, can I hook up, you know, the, my lead acid? This is a massive lead acid battery bank. And uh, I'll pop a picture in here right quick. And I'll also, if you look in my channel, you'll see how these big, huge bus bars were made that are good for a couple of thousand amps. And then, of course, it runs things like this big 240 um, inverter that we have on here. And then, of course, it runs this one now and that one down there. So we have plenty of power. So we're, we're pushing about 12,000 watts of constant power. Now, this little Digimarker battery was on earlier and currently it is breakfast so 5 45 6 o'clock in the morning and the battery bank is at about the lowest it'll get watch it there about 12 3. i just caught it there it is 12 3. so it's 12 3 because all night long here running that thing runs all night long it don't take that that's the most efficient air conditioner i've ever seen so um this is how we take the power during the daytime, the evenings, and we charge up lithium batteries safe. This is a 20 amp, it says 25, but that's like short peak level, but it's 20 amp ability, and it'll charge roughly about at 15, so right now it's at 12.83. Um, what did you, what state of charge of this, about 40, 50 percent? Yeah. That's the one that came out of the truck. So she took this out of her Chevrolet that's got the 12 volt air conditioner on the roof. 
people seem to be loving that video. And she's got it in here hooked up because she wants to go pick up chicken feed today and she wants a hot battery. So we're going to connect these two in the truck together and we'll show you right quick how to do these good. Yeah. Okay. We'll show you. You're ready. You're ready. All right. So we're going to hook up the negative. She's got the positive already hooked up and it gives a little light spark because it does have some capacitors in here. And now you're looking at what it's doing. So we have 13.1.3. That's the voltage going in. 13 from 12.3 that's in the battery bank. 13.505, so it's over 13 volts and basically almost 15 amps charging right now. 15 amp peak, so that's the current limiting that's in this, and these will get very slightly warm. They, they, they won't hardly warm up at all. So now here's the different ones. Let's get over here and I'll lay them out. All right, so say you got a, a 24 volt battery system. This is not made for a 36 volt battery system. You see, it says 36, it ain't. But what if you got a 12 volt system and you need to keep like a, um, a diesel heater running? Well, you know good and well that the diesel heater is going to shut off at 11.5 volts, safety system in them. But if you use this, say you got some old RV batteries, and you want to keep it running all night in the wintertime, you don't want to freeze, this is what you use. And this is excellent for what it'll do. This will provide plenty of amperage, 25 amps, it'll actually provide, it's peak. Though that is, what do you call it, short out. So 18 to 20 is consistent, and diesel heaters, they will take a good solid 15 amps to run them so if you have it that's what you use right there okay over here this is a dc dc converter that is preset to 14.5 and it'll go from 9 to 35 volts which works fine and i can charge lithium batteries it's current limited it doesn't put in more than the battery can handle and as the battery gets to its top out this current will stop start to drop Okay, and the reason it drops because it's getting to the limit of how far it can push against the battery and it's being rejected so it doesn't make heat, it just doesn't pull it through. And these little LI Time batteries, they've been freaking good, man. Um, I think I think LI Time, these are generation one and they've been really good, but you cannot charge these over 14.5. Don't do it. And she'll come out here, and when it's dropping down, when the voltage on this says 14.4, she'll take it loose. It, it'll still show that it's pushing an amp and a half. And if you leave it another hour, it'll be 100% battery. But Kara pulls these at about, what, 95%? Yeah. She don't want them 100% because they're pouch cells. If you want that battery to last you 10 years, you don't push it to 100%. And if you want it to last you 10 years, you set it on... It's not, I can't read it. Gel. You set them on gel. And that way you don't have to worry about that. I do have my lead acid too. Now I'll run my lead acid up to 15.5 volts for four hours, about every three months, get them warmed. And I, I've got lead acid that lasts me 12 years. So yeah. I said that the, probably the, uh, the most I've had it is like 98, 98%. And that's because I forgot it. Yeah, she'll get it down to where it's like a half of an amp trying to be pushed in. That's about 98%. 14.5 or 14.45. You just don't want to run them over 14.4. And this one here says 14.5, but they, believe me, they hit 14.46 and they just kind of freeze up. They don't really push any harder, but they still see a little trickle amp trying to get to the battery. They're perfect. I mean, perfect. And you never run these batteries lower than about 15%. So compared to a lead acid, you know, you can you can run a lead acid up to 100% of charge, no problem. It's healthy for it. And you can run them down to about 40% of charge, and it's fine. You'll get your money's worth out of these if you do not try to push them. They will get to, plenty. Don't yeah. just, yeah, don't, don't, don't push them to the limit. Don't push them to the limit. And the same way with this little digi marker, she went out there and ran that air conditioner on this while this one was out of it. And now it's dead, but it's a 60 amp battery and it did it. It did it. It ran that air conditioner for an hour and 15 minutes. Literally just, she just went out there and plugged it, hooked it up and let it run. Let it run. When, they, when she didn't hear it running anymore, she went out there and checked. Hour and what, 12 minutes, something like that. Yeah, so that little digi marker, like most all the digi marker batteries, they're, they're a higher 
grade. They're, they got the round cells in them, so they're a higher grade. Um, there's numerous ways that you can use these little bug boosts. Believe it or not, I can put a solar panel to this. I can take a solar panel and hook it up to this. Uh, yeah, I just said that. A solar panel. This is as good a solar charger as you need for charging solar power. And it's current limited. And it also will, will do a beautiful job of taking your 22 open volt of your solar panel. Let me get that up there where people can see it. It'll take your 22 open volts of a typical solar panel, and it'll it'll convert that to amperage like an MPPT. This is the cheapest freaking 15 amp MPPT at about $43 that you can find. And it works just fine. And if you want to charge lithium, standard lithium battery or NICAD battery, this one. Now, you'll, you'll want to buy the 5 amp, but this one. And you can use that or this one right here. Hold on. This one is the, what is that one here? 110 watts. So this one's about, the, this one's about an 8 amp. All right. So this one here, a, a, I'm looking at it. Look, 8 amp. There we go. This one right here, it's old. I've had this for a long time. And we've used this one. See the wires all boogered up? We've used this one for charging a uh, uh, NICADs, for charging NICAD batteries, a, a Basically, a 12-volt Milwaukee drill tool is basically 13.8. And it does an impressive job of charging two batteries at one time off of uh, your car. So I've used that one. And I think it still works. I don't know. We just quit using those batteries. We went to 18-volt and 20-volt. But this right here and this right here are very competitive items. But you want to check your voltage. You want to make sure it has an amperage limit. And you want to make sure that it's capable of being in the battery uh, range that you're wanting okay all of these converters they'll they'll have they'll just change the label to charger to, to just says charger and charge you ten dollars more um if you feel unsafe buy it that way but they're the same thing is different sticker okay and like you'll see over here this one here is still pushing right at 15 amps even it is the same thing see it don't say charger See it? It just says converter. They'll have one that'll come with a sticker that says charger, and you'll pay more. But honestly, it's the same thing. It, there's there's no parts that are different. Um, there's no computer chip that's different. And this right here has now got this battery to 13.15 volts. That's what's turning it into at 15 amps, and it's taking it from that right there. So now the sun is just finally coming up. Look at this. My solar is just starting to come online. They'll get up to about 36 to 37 amps here pretty soon. All right, guys. We have uh, there's a cricket right there. There's a there's a cricket. That's what that noise is, ain't it? We don't go outside. The outdoors comes to us. That's right. We live on the verge of outdoors. All right, guys. I have this little nice thing here. It didn't come with a certain outlet. And I'm going to put one on it. I like this thing. I can put my own battery in it. So, y'all stay tuned. Big mega pile here. Um, rebuilding that Chins battery. Got a, a identical factory BMS by, by VIP that you can't find. Minerals. The guy that's the buying manager for them, he found them. I'll put a link to that somewhere. Look, look below the videos. I'll put a link to that. If you have one of these batteries, you know, BMS is bad. The one they use in all these Shenzhen batteries, all the different brands, he found it. And it works to make your parallels and all that crap. So, all right. Next thing we got is we got this. We got it for $74. Super discount. They want me to do a review on it. If I ain't going to like it, I'm going to let you know. It started out not being as heavy as one of these by any means. And weight accounts for things. Yeah, we have one that was really heavy. Yeah, yeah. So it's a big deal. All right. Y'all stay tuned. Get you a bug boost. They're handy. Lots of uses for them. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. And real quick, um, the same thing that these are, this is a bug boost. Same thing for this 36 volt battery. At 20 amps from basically a 12 volt battery, 
43.8 is the charge rate for a lithium, and that's what these are. They're about 125 bucks, worth every dime. I can just take my solar, put it into a pair of those, and have my backup power system because this is, uh, is it that one? No. Oh, here it is. This is a 36 volt. Look how thin them little bitty wires are. Look at that. Oh, yeah, we ain't done this yet. Here, watch it. Look at that. Ain't that pretty. 39. Eh, Got to charge that battery up. I haven't done that yet. All right, guys. What do you got to say to them? Y'all be good. Of course. Be like Kira. Be good. Be good. And get your hops go. We're going to be showing that real soon.